Greetings! Today we'll be talking about representing numbers. This is some stuff you've done before with just a splash of new stuff. So let's take a visit of what we already know how to do. We know how to take a number like 243 and break it into a sum of its place values. And we know how to take those place values and break them into products based on their place values. Now, the only change we're going to make here today is we're going to try it by adding a decimal. So now I just have 243 and 5 tenths. Is this that different? No, it's not. We're going to start off the same way. We're going to break our 2 into 200, break our 4 into 40, our 3 into 3, and our 5 in the tenths place into 5 tenths. Makes sense, right? Now we want to write each of those as a product based on their place value. So my 200 is 2 one hundredths. My 40 is 4 tens. My 3 is 3 ones. And can you guess what my 5 is? Well, it's 5 one tenths. Makes sense, right? And then, to write it in its expanded notation, we're going to write it as a sum. Ta-da! Okay, let's try an example with a bigger number. Ooh, exciting. Okay, we're going to start the same way. We're just going to break each digit into its place value. My buddy Stampy is going to help us do that. Boing, boing, boing. Now we're going to take each of those values and write them as a product based on their place value. So I have 1,000. That's 1 times 1,000. I have 0 hundredths. I don't need to write 0 times 100. We're just going to ignore that for now. My 80 is 8 tenths, so we can write that as 8 times 10. My 6 is 6 ones. We'll write that as 6 times 1. In the tenths place, we don't have anything. We don't need to write 0 times 1 tenth, so we're just going to ignore that for now. And then we have a 4 in the hundredths, and we're going to write that as 4 times 1 hundredth. No problem, right? Then, to write it in its expanded notation, we'll write it as a sum. Sometimes, instead of seeing the decimal, you'll see the fraction. So that 4 times 1 hundredth might be written this way. Now, what if you're given the expanded notation and you need to write the standard form. Well, we could do all of this multiplication, and then we could add up all of those numbers, but that seems like a lot of work. I think we can shorten that process. Let's just consider our expanded notation in terms of place value. So I have three ten thousands. I can just put a three in the ten thousands place. I don't have anything that says times a thousand, so I don't have anything that goes in the thousands place. I can put a zero. In the hundreds, I have 8 times 100, so I have 8 hundreds. I don't have anything that says times 10, so I don't have any tens. I have 7 times 1, so that means I have 7 ones. I have 5 tenths, and finally 9 hundreds. So we can just fill in those place values. We don't have to do any multiplying or adding. And just like that, we're done. Okay, now it's your turn to practice.